Hi boys and girls, it's Mrs. Smiley. I'm going to share with you another story and this book is called Footprints in the Snow and it's perfect for January because we're in the season of winter and our big question we've been talking about in language arts is what is the different what are the different things that happen in each season? And so I think as we read this book, Footprints in the Snow, you'll start to think about what some of the characteristics or things that we see when we are in winter time. Okay? All right, so take a little peek at the cover. And this is written by Mia Masuko. Footprints in the Snow. Oh, I like all the books on the beginning pages. There's our title page. Right, here we go. Oh, my glasses on real fast. It was a cold winter's day. Wolf sat by the fire in his cozy little house, reading all the books he had about wolves. If you look, you can see out the window. What do you see falling? Snow. All the wolves in the stories that he read were nasty and scary and greedy. I think it's time somebody wrote a story about a nice wolf, he said. So he sat down at his writing table and he picked up a pen and this is how the story went. I like the idea. One winter's morning, it snowed and snowed and snowed and snowed. When it finally stopped snowing, Mr. Nice Wolf stepped out of his house to go for a walk. In the silk smooth bed of snow, he spotted some footprints leading into the forest. Hmm, I wonder whose those could be, he thought. See how we followed all the footprints as we read? He decided to follow the footprints to find out who they belonged to so that he could make a new friend. Make a prediction, who do you think they could belong to? After a while, he saw a squirrel in a tree. Excuse me, sir, are these your footprints? He asked politely. No, answered the squirrel, why do you ask? I want to find out so that I can make a new friend, said Mr. Nice Wolf. I don't believe you, said the squirrel. You just want to find out so that you can eat the poor thing. And with that, he scampered off. Mr. Nice Wolf came across a bunny, bunny poking her nose out of her burrow. Excuse me, madam, are these footprints yours? He asked her cheerfully. I want to find out so that I can make a new friend. I don't believe you, said the rabbit. You're just hungry and you want to find some breakfast. And with that, she hopped back down into her burrow, down into her hole. Lots of living things in this story, aren't there? Mr. Nice Wolf, who wasn't feeling too nice by this at this point, tried to ignore what she said and he carried on. And soon he came to a big lake in the middle of the forest. Croak, croak. Oh, could these footprints be yours? Mr. Wolf asked the frog. No, said the frog, and there's no way I would tell you whose they are, even if I knew. Then he dived into the lake and swam off. There he goes. Right over on the other side of the lake, Mr. Wolf saw a big brown duck. Hello there, he shouted to the duck. See, it's way over there. He had to shout. These, these must be your footprints, he said. Yes, answered the duck, swimming over. Oh, good. I've been looking for you, said Mr. Wolf. I was hoping we could be. But as he spoke, Mr. Wolf took a good long look at the duck and forgot all about what he was saying. For the duck looked so fat and juicy and mouth-watering tasty. Uh-oh, what do you think he's going to do? Is he going to make a new friend with the duck? Splash! There he went, right into the water. Wolf was startled to find himself back in his own house. Where is he at? He splashed in the bathtub, didn't he? 
Shoo! I almost let my story end with Mr. Nice Wolf being just as bad as all the other wolves. Wolf got out of the bath to dry himself off when suddenly there was a knock at the door. Knock, 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 knock. I'm coming, I'm coming, Wolf called. He opened the door. Who do you think is at the door? And in the silk smooth bed of snow, he spotted some footprints. Hmm, I wonder whose those could be. <gasps> Isn't that how our story started? And there he is, following those footprints. Remember how we talked about some stories are circle stories? They end the same way they started, and it's like a big circle. I think this is a circle story, too. Now, do you think Mr. Nice Wolf was really nice in the story? He started out like he wanted to be nice, and he was trying to make what? A friend. But that just didn't work out for him, did it? Because he's a wolf, and when he saw that duck, how did the duck look to him? Did the duck look like dinner or like a friend? Probably more like dinner. And so he woke up out of his little daydream that he was in when he was making his story, and he realized, was he being nice or was he being not very nice? Probably not being as nice as he had hoped he'd be. So I hope you enjoyed the story, boys and girls. Have a great day.